In Jainism, a Tithankara Sanskrit, Tithankara, English, literally a Ford maker is a savior and spiritual teacher of the Dharma righteous path. The word Tithankara signifies the founder of a Titha, which is a fordable passage across the sea of interminable births and deaths, the samsara. According to Jains, a Tithankara is a rare individual who has conquered the samsara, the cycle of death and rebirth, on their own, and made a path for others to follow. After understanding the true nature of the self or soul, the Tithankara attains Kavala J. Nana omniscience, and the first Tithankara refounds Jainism. Tithankara provides a bridge for others to follow the new teacher from samsara to moksha liberation. .The Tithankara Malinatha is believed to be a woman named Mali Bai by Svetambara Jains while the Digambara sect believes all 24 Tithankara to be men including Malinatha. Digambara tradition believes a woman can reach to the 16th heaven and can attain liberation only being reborn as a man. In Jain cosmology, the Wheel of Time is divided in two halves, Utsarpini or Ascending Time Cycle and Avasarpini, the Descending Time Cycle said to be current now. In each half of the Cosmic Time Cycle, exactly 24 Trithankaras grace this part of the universe. There have been an infinite number of Trithankaras in the past time periods. The first Tithankara in this present time cycle was Rishavanatha, who is credited for formulating and organizing humans to live in a society harmoniously. The 24th and last Tithankara of present half cycle was Mahavira 599-527 BC. History records the existence of Mahavira and his predecessor, Parshvanath, the 23rd Tithankara. A Tithankara organizes the Sangha, a fourfold order of male and female monastics, Sravakas male followers, and Sravikas female followers. .The Tithankara's teachings form the basis for the Jain canons. The inner knowledge of Tithankara is believed to be perfect and identical in every respect and their teachings do not contradict one another. However, the degree of elaboration varies according to the spiritual advancement and purity of the society during their period of leadership. The higher the spiritual advancement and purity of mind of the society, the lower the elaboration required. While Trithankaras are documented and revered by Jains, their grace is said to be available to all living beings, regardless of religious orientation. Trithankaras are Arihants who, after attaining Kevalinana pure infinite knowledge, preach the true Dharma. An Arihant is also called Jina, victor, that is, one who has conquered inner enemies such as anger, attachment, pride, and greed. They dwell exclusively within the realm of their soul, and are entirely free of kashayas, inner passions, and personal desires. As a result of this, unlimited siddhas, or spiritual powers, are readily available to them, which they use exclusively for the spiritual elevation of living beings. Through dasana, divine vision, and deshna, divine speech, they help others in attaining kevalinana, and moksha final liberation to anyone seeking it sincerely. Topic. Meaning The word Tithankara signifies the founder of a Titha which means affordable passage across the sea of interminable births and deaths called samsara. Trithankaras are variously called teaching gods, ford makers, crossing makers, and makers of the river crossing. Topic. Tithankara Nam Karma Jain texts propound that a special type of karma, the Tithankara Nama Karma, raises a soul to the supreme status of a Tithankara. Tattvatha Sutra, a major Jain text, lists down 16 observances which lead to the banda bondage of this karma. Purity of right faith Reverence Observance of vows and supplementary vows without transgressions Ceaseless pursuit of knowledge Perpetual fear of the cycle of existence Giving gifts charity, Practicing austerities according to one's capacity Removal of obstacles that threaten the equanimity of ascetics 
serving the meritorious by warding off evil or suffering devotion to omniscient lords, chief preceptors, preceptors, and the scriptures practice of the six essential daily duties propagation of the teachings of the omniscient fervent affection for one's brethren following the same path Topic. Panch Kalyanaka Five auspicious events called, Panka Kalyanaka marks the life of every Tithankara. Gava Kalyanaka conception, when Atman soul of a Tithankara comes into his mother's womb. Janma Kalyanaka birth, birth of a Tithankara. Indra performs a ceremonial bath on Tithankara on Mount Meru. Tapa Kalyanaka renunciation, when a Tithankara renounces all worldly possessions and become an ascetic. Jayanana Kalyanaka, the event when a Tithankara attains Kevalainana infinite knowledge. A Samavasarana divine preaching hall is erected from where he delivers sermons and restores Sangha after that. Nirvana Kalyanaka liberation, when a Tithankara leaves his mortal body, it is known as Nirvana. It is followed by the final liberation, moksha. Their souls dwells in Sadashila after that. <laughs> Samavasarana After attaining Kevalainana, a Tithankara preaches the path to liberation in the Samavasarana. According to Jain texts, the heavenly pavilion is erected by devas heavenly beings, where devas, humans and animals assemble to hear the Tithankara. A Tithankara's speech is heard by all humans and animals in their own language. It is believed that during this speech, there is no unhappiness for miles around the site. Topic. Trithankaras of present cosmic age Jainism postulates that time has no beginning or end. It moves like the wheel of a cart. The wheel of time is divided in two halves, Utsarpini ascending half cycle and Avasarpini descending half cycle. Twenty-four Trithankaras are born in each half of this cycle. In Jain tradition the Trithankaras were royal in their final lives, and Jain texts record details of their previous lives. Their clan and families are also among those recorded in very early, or legendary, Hindu history. Jain canons state that Rishavanatha, the first Tithankara, founded the Ikshvaku dynasty, from which 21 other Trithankaras also rose over time. Two Trithankaras, Munasuvrata, the 20th, and Nemanata, the 22nd, belonged to the Harivamsa dynasty. In Jain tradition, the 20 Trithankaras attained moksha on Mount Shikharji, in the present Indian state of Jharkhand. Rishavanatha attained nirvana on Mount Kailash, presently located in Tibet, close to Indian border, Vasupajara at Champapuri in North Bengal, Nemanata on Mount Gurna, Gujarat, and Mahavira, the last Tithankara, at Parwapuri, near modern Patna. Twenty-one of the Trithankaras are said to have attained moksha in the Kyotsaga standing meditation posture, while Rishavanatha, Nemanata and Mahavira are said to have attained moksha in the Padmasana lotus position. Topic. List of the 24 Trithankaras Topic. Present cosmic age In chronological order, the names, emblems and colors of the 24 Trithankaras of this age are mentioned below. Danusa means bow. Hatha means hands. And one perva equals 8,400,000 by 8,400,000 or 70,560,000,000 years. Topic. Next cosmic age The 24 Trithankaras of the present age are the ones listed above. The names of the next 24, which will be born in Utsarpini age are as follows. 
mentioned in the parentheses is one of the previous human birth of that soul. Padmanava, King Shrenaka, Surdev, Mahavira's uncle Supishva, Supishva, King Kaunik's son King Udayan, Svamprav, the ascetic Potal, Sarvanabhuti, Sravaka Dridayada, Devshruti, Kartik Shreshti, Udayanath, Shravak Shamka, Pedhalputra, Shravak Ananda, Potal, Shravak Sunand. Shatak, Sharavak Shatak, Munivrat, Krishna's mother Devaki, Amam, Krishna, Shrinishkashe, Satyaki Rudra, also Satyaki of Mahabharata, Nishpulak, Krishna's brother Balbadra, also known as Balrama, Nirmam, Shravika Sulsa, Chitragupta, Krishna's brother's mother Rohini Devi, Samadhinath, Ravati Gathapatni. Samvanath Sharavak Shatalak Yashodha Rishi Dwipayan Vijay Kana of Mahabharata Maliadev Nirgranthaputra or Malanarada Devachandra Shravakamba Anantvirya Shravakama Shrivadraka Shanak Topic Iconography A Tithankara is represented either seated in lotus position Padmasana or standing in the meditation in Kadgasana Kyotsaga posture. Usually they are depicted seated with their legs crossed in front, the toes of one foot resting close upon the knee of the other, and the right hand lying over the left in the lap. Tithanaka idols look similar and are differentiated on the basis of symbol or emblem Lankhana belonging to each Tithanaka except Parshvanatha. Statues of Parshvanath have snake crown on head. The first Tithankara Rishabha can be identified with locks of hair falling on his shoulders. Sometimes Supashvanath is shown with small snake hood. The symbols are marked in center or in the corner of the pedestal of statue. Both sects of Jainism Digambara and Svetambara have different depiction of idols. Digambara images are naked without any beautification whereas Svetambara ones are clothed and decorated with temporary ornaments. The images are often marked with Srivatsa on the chest and Tilaka on forehead. Srivatsa is one of the Ashtamangala auspicious symbol. It can look somewhat like a fleur de lis, an endless knot, a flower or diamond shaped symbol. Topic: In other religions. The first Tithankara, Rishavanatha is mentioned in Hindu texts like the Rigveda, Vishnu Purana and Bhagavata Purana. The Yajurveda mentions the name of three Trithankaras Rishabha, Ajitnatha and Aristanami. The Bhagavata Purana includes legends about the Trithankaras of Jainism particularly Rishabha. Yoga Vasishta, Chapter 15, Sloka 8 The saying of Rama I am not Rama. I have no desire for material things. Like Jina I want to establish peace within myself. Champat Rai Jain, a 20th century Jain writer, claimed that the four and twenty elders mentioned in the Book of Revelation, the final book of the Christian Bible, are 24 Trithankaras. Topic <laughs> Gallery. Topic. <laughs> See also Mythological data of Tithankara God in Jainism Tattva Jainism Simandha Swami Kundakunda Kunda.